Hey guys! I don't know if I'm overexposed. I've already changed the brightness like four times. So we're gonna go with it. Hopefully everything looks okay on camera. I don't know. But we're gonna go for it. Today I have a thrift haul. Uh, this is a combo going to two places. A Salvation Army and a Value Village that just opened here a couple weeks ago and I went on opening day. I don't even know why, just because I thought it would be fun, I thought it would be exciting. It's finally a little bit cooler here, so this is a fall haul. Um, but with that being said, today it's like 16 degrees. So I'm going to start with the two things that I bought that I'm just putting on Poshmark like I didn't even buy them for myself. The very first thing is this Cynthia Rowley... Rowley? I don't know. Cynthia Rager <laughs> sweater and it's I guess a plus size. It says 3x and I mean it's a big but it's not like that big. Like I just thought it was like kind of oversized um, but apparently it's plus size. Well this was half price because the day I went to Salvation Army I bought like half price stuff. Well I mean like certain things were half price and everything I think that I got except for one thing was all part of that. So this was originally $6.99, so I paid $3.50. Next thing I got was from the Salvation Army, and this is like not my style. This isn't something that I would wear, but I thought it was so funky and cute, and it looks like it's never been worn. Like, it just looks like it's in such good condition. I love that the front has a little slit, and then the back is also the two-toned. And I knew that I recognize this uh, brand from somewhere and it's actually misguided. This one wasn't on sale, it was $5.99, but I thought that somebody would really like it and get some use out of it. Oh, I forgot to say the thing that I'm wearing. So this shirt that I'm wearing that you can totally see my black bra through, sorry, my apologies. Um, it has like flipper arms. I don't know. What attracted me to it was this little lace up detail and then it has long little thready guys and then it does go like all the way down like a shirt would but it's kind of tight across the chestal area so I might put it up on my Poshmark I think I paid $6.99 for this one because it was like considered a blouse and it was at Valley Village on that opening day next I got this turtleneck and I was so excited about this like poop brown kind of like khaki weird color because I was wearing these green pants the day that I went to Value Village and that's where I found this was Value Village and I tried this on with the green pants and it was so stinking cute. It has this like little mock neck to it which I love a mock neck. Like turtlenecks are fun but like a mock neck is better. <laughs> so I got this. It's in like a rather large size. I think it's like yeah, it's supposed to be like a 24, I don't know, it's probably like a 4X or something, but it's not that big. Like I would I would probably consider it maybe like a 2X and it's just like oversized, but I'm gonna tuck it in. I don't really care. It's kind of like big in the arms, so it's like comfy, but this was $2.99. This was like considered like a long sleeve shirt. And I mean, it's been like worn, but it's not in like bad condition. Literally, I'm like way too excited about this. Like I, I, I'm seriously very excited about this. This is from the Salvation Army and I'll give you like a little quick story. So I saw this fleece at the Salvation Army and I love the colors. It was kind of the exact same as this. And it was like the first thing that I saw when I went in. It was from L.L. Bean so it was like a really good brand, really good fabric. But it was $12.99. There wasn't like new tags on it or anything, which would be like kind of more of a reason for it to be so expensive. So I was like going back and forth. It kind of made me look really like bulky because it was so fleecy. It was like thicker. So I was like, eh, I don't know. Like I'm not sure about it. So I tried it on like four times. Then I saw a guy walking around the store with this shirt and it was like exactly the same colors, but it's, it's, it's still like fleecy. Like it's still like a warm material. It's not like a dress shirt or anything, but it's not quite as like fleecy, almost like a jacket as the other one was. So I saw him walking around with it. He went in the change room. He tried it on. Obviously he didn't like it and he left it behind, bitch. This was $4.99 and I actually prefer the fit on this one. So I was so excited that he left this behind. There are absolutely no tags on it. I have no idea what size it is. I don't care. It's kind of like worn. It has that like really nice like 
been lived in kind of feel and I literally am so excited about this too. Okay, so another kind of like seen this, wanted this. At Winners, recently, the last like three times that I've been there, they've had these like Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, um, like hoodie ponchos. Very similar to this, very, very similar, but like obviously just like a different season. Had like almost the same pockets and everything, but they're $49.99 because they're like, I don't know, thick, you know, sweater, fall, kind of like something you could wear outside without wearing something over it. So they're probably considering it like an outerwear piece. Anyways, it's so like the only difference is that this is more of a poncho, that one's kind of more of a hoodie. And it comes in like different colors. Obviously at the thrift store you only have the option of the color that you find. But I found this from Lauren Jeans Co. which is by Ralph Lauren, like a branch off of that. And it has like, it's just like, it's more of a poncho sweater instead of being more like a sweater poncho, if that makes any sense to you. It's more poncho than it is sweater. But it has like two little buttons on either side that kind of like brings it in closer to your body so it gives you a little bit more of a shape than like a regular poncho. I got this for $11.99. Nothing is picked on it. Like probably someone didn't even wear it. And I got this at the Value Village the day that it opened. And like I said, it made me really excited because it was kind of like finding something in store, but finding it, you know, at the thrift store being more sustainable, but it's like really similar to something that I like. Now on that same 50% off day from Salvation Army, I found this little, like something to wear under like blazers and stuff. Cause like I'm looking for a job now. I kind of took the summer off. Now I'm looking for a job. Cause like gotta be an adult. So I've been looking for things that are kind of like office appropriate because that's kind of like where I'm leaning into. So anyways, I saw this blouse. It's actually from Walmart, but like, I think it's hella cute. It has like a slight peplum, nothing crazy. I'm not really about that life. I liked it when it was popular, not really about it now. But this is kind of just like loose, but it still kind of like brings you in. And it also has this like cute detailing going down either side that kind of like also slims you out, which is nice. So this was originally $2.99, so I paid $1.50 for it. Like, sit down, sit down. This I was kind of weary about because it didn't come with the belt, but I saw this at Value Village that day that I went, and it was $8.99 in like perfect condition. Not really very fall vibes, but like, I mean, I guess it could be. If you kind of pulled this like purple color and had like a purple shirt, or you wore like all black with it or something and like boots, but it didn't come with the belt and it very clearly does have like belt loops on it but it was in such good condition and it was like nice and long and then it has like slits on the sides i love a good slit so i, de I decided to get it and it was only 8.99 it's from la chateau so it was probably like you know at least 40 dollars it has pockets but they fake <laughs> you can't use them so that's like the only thing that's like kind of upsetting other than the belt but I felt like I would get a lot of wear out of this, possibly now, definitely in the spring. And yeah, I just, I really thought this one was nice, so I got it. In from Salvation Army, like I said, kind of been looking for work stuff. Both these last two items are kind of centered around that. I found this blazer, and I found this on my like last run around the store, because I mean, anybody who thrift shops, I feel like you know, you kind of like do your initial look around, you might try some stuff on, go back, have another look around, because like you never know what's going to get put back, you never know what someone's going to put down, and if you're already there, you've probably been there for a while, so like you might as well keep looking around, like why not? So this was on my last look around before I went to the cash. This wasn't on sale, I'm sure, I'm sure I paid full price for this, because I ended up spending like 40 some dollars that day, but I looked it up, and I think it was on Nordstrom for like $300, and I was like, Okay, we'll go with that. So this is by the brand Joan Vass. I don't know if it's like supposed to be plus size because it is like a little bit big on me. I'm like a pretty true extra large. Sometimes a large, but like in a jacket like this, I would definitely say extra large. And this is like slightly big, but like not really, like it fits pretty well, but it's considered a two by her, them, whatever, I don't know. Um, but it's just in like perfect condition. Details are all like super duper nice. 
and I really liked the pattern. Last thing, I got this also from Salvation Army. This one also wasn't on sale, but I got a skirt, and actually, as I'm looking at the jacket, this would look so cute with the jacket. It's just this, like, camel-colored skirt. I'm pretty sure it's, like, maybe vintage? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't even have a tag in it other than the one that, like, says what size it is. Um, I, I just thought it would be really nice. It has, like, darting in places that would look nice. It has, like, a little tiny slit at the very bottom. Nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, scandalous. We don't want that. Everything was in, like, super good shape. It has, like, a hook and eye at the very top and a zipper. And I just thought this was really nice. And this was $3.99. So, I mean, like, you can't, you can't go wrong. And it's, like, it's pretty high. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that, but... It's pretty high. Yeah, I'm a total liar. I remembered that I had bought another pair of pants that sale day at Salvation Army. Then I remembered two more things that I haven't showed you, and I feel like they were actually both from Salvation Army, because they were um, that time that I went. So I'm gonna show you that stuff too. <laughs> so I was thinking like workwear, workwear, I know I got a pair of pants, and I did. They're from RW and Co. And they were, $6.99 so they were also $3.50. Now they do have like a little bit of pilling on like the thighs but I mean $3.50 like I'll take it off it's fine. So these are like super hella stretchy and they're like straight legged. Actually they're skinny. They are skinny. Is it okay to wear skinny like what am I trying to say? Skinny like um dress pants? Is that okay? Is that like office appropriate or do they have to be like straight leg? I don't know. Anyways, I bought them. They have like little zippers on the front and then on the back they have little fake pockets. So I got these. They're pretty comfy. They probably could have afforded to be like a little bit bigger. Like I would say these fit kind of more like a medium large, but for $3.50, I could get them on and they were decently comfortable so I bought them. At the Salvation Army that day I actually found a jacket and I knew that I knew this name from somewhere. I have no idea how to say it. It's from Aritzia and that was really exciting because Aritzia is pretty expensive and I looked it up. They didn't have a jacket like this anymore but like it kind of looked like on sale it would be like around $70 so it would probably be at least $100 for sure. So it's kind of like a military style jacket. Um, it's obviously army green. It has like the pleather sleeves. Big pockets on the front. This one's in a large. I really could have afforded for an extra large but obviously they didn't have that option and it was only $8.99 so I wasn't leaving it there. I brought it home with me and I was like, hell girl, you lose losing weight. Let's buy this jacket. And it does have a hood. Zipper works great. And yeah, overall, pretty happy with it. Okay, and then the actual last thing, like the thing, there's, there might be more things, but like it's hard to remember when it's been like a while. So for some reason, I have no trouble remembering the like numbers. Like I remember how much everything was. Okay, so last but not least, I actually got this at Value Village, I lied. Now I'm remembering it again was like something on like my last final sweep. I was like, ooh, I'll take that. So I got this plaid like light fleece shirt. It's very similar to the other one that I got, but it's like a completely different cut. This one I would wear like closed by itself. I actually wore this on Friday. Me and my boyfriend went and saw the Joker on opening night. Really good movie, really dark, exactly what you'd expect, but very well done. Like Joaquin Phoenix, like very, very well done. This one fits perfectly. It's from Old Navy. It's called the classic shirt and it's in an extra large. This was $4.99. And the reason that I got it, even though it's like so similar to the other one, like I said, it's like a totally different fit. But I was thinking to myself, if I saw this at Old Navy, I would totally want it. And if I saw it at Old Navy for $4.99, I would be like, okay, all day, like taking it. So I was like, why the hell wouldn't I get it at the thrift store? Like, why not? So I got it and I've already worn it two different times now. So I'm glad I got it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I don't know how I ever stop thrifting. I love it. It's so much fun and I can't wait to thrift more. My mom's coming in on Friday and I'm going to be like, can we please go thrifting? Because it's so much fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next video. I really hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.